All right, good morning everyone. Once again, this is day two of Hot Pit Auto Fest. So uh, we literally just loaded in, just got here. We just pulled the cars back out. Uh, we're gonna come check out Mr. TJ. He's hiding over here. He's not even in the gate yet. They actually got him stuck out front, but he'll be in here shortly, so you'll see him. I want to come see these guys. So good morning, good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? We are doing. Okay. We are dropping dips, replacing dips. So he is changing a quick change, uh, not the way that we normally change them. So normally we change quick change gear sets from back here. He's decided to just change the whole entire thing. Um, so what side broke? Uh, left. The left side broke. Side. Got it. So did you guys get the? Is this a new stub axle? Uh, we bought it. Sam, Sam's letting us borrow. Thank goodness for Sam. All right. So 412 Motorsports brought out an entire dip. So that'll be perfect. It'll work. It'll be good. Fingers crossed. Yeah, uh, it'll be good. We'll be fine. So, all right. Yes, good morning. So we're headed back over to our pit location. I just want to check on them. Stewart family has always helped us out a lot. Uh, Josh just came back from deployment. So shout out to all of our military buddies that are out here. He is a super hard worker. So we have our pit set up. So this is what it, it looked like. I know you guys can really see it last night because we were running around all crazy. Caleb's going to be changing tires and pulling the muffler off the back of Sally because uh, it was so quiet that you can't even hear the thing running, but this guy uh, is basically down for the weekend. So no more, the car is basically out and uh, hopefully we'll get all fixed and ready to go for the next event. But we're gonna jump in, start working on all of our stuff, change clothes, get suited up and be ready for the driver's meeting that's in, uh, I think 20 minutes. Look at these guys, coming in hot. This is, this is my savior, this is the guy who drove the car yesterday. I don't like cameras, man. They freak me out. Oh, that's okay. Hey, man, so what, what's uh, Rome Ship of the Day from Brian over here? Um, make sure that you get your wife to drive you, your buddy to your house and pick up your car and then street drive it here right before you qualify. Perfect. Sounds like a good plan. We're going to try and not have to do that anymore because that was not, uh, that was a lot of stress <laughs> on us. A lot of stress on this guy street driving for, uh, on uh, Saturday night traffic in a full blown race car. But thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah. We'll man. see you guys soon. Woo! All right, so driver meeting is officially over. We're back down here on grid. There's only two of us actually lined up. So obviously we have sent Sally out today. You saw what happened yesterday. Uh, we ended up blowing up the one series, but it was, uh, we believe it was an injector failure. So uh, there's not much we can do about that. It just, it's, it is what it is. So brought Sally out and uh, we have Margaritis next to us. So this should be fun. The only bad part is, is look at this, look. We're starting to get rain. Now, I don't know if you guys saw what happened at Irwindale uh, last time it rained for FD, but it was not good. It was extremely slippery, super sketchy. So we're gonna hope that the rain does stay away because if this track gets wet, there's so much rubber down below and so much uh, basically like build up from it that it turns into just an ice rink. We actually crashed on the scooter last time trying to just ride around the track to visually look at it. But hopefully it stays dry, stays warm, and uh, the rain stays away. So we're gonna get suited up, jump in the car, and hopefully uh, we'll have some laughs here for you guys right now. So fortunately, we're back in the pits. Uh, this car actually flung a belt and ate the belt tensioner completely off. So the belt tensioner is gone. It, the belt exited right before entry. So this one is gone. Uh, we're gonna try and get this all back together. And basically what we're doing is we're taking it off of this. So we're gonna be pulling it off of this setup, which is the one series, because this one's already done for the day. Pulling this whole front assembly off and putting it on this car. And uh, we'll get it back together shortly. Okay, so made it back out on grid. Uh, we basically needed a, a belt tensioner, an idler pulley, and a belt. Hopefully this thing's ran the right way. Uh, we don't really know, but we're gonna figure it out real quickly. And we have 15 minutes till practice time goes, and we've not made a lap yet. So 15 minutes, battle start. We've not made a lap, and it is now raining. So this should be quite interesting. Hopefully we get this figured out, and hopefully I get a lap. I'm about eight cars back. Hopefully we can turn around in less than uh, less than a minute, and I'll get out to a lap. So stay with us. Hope for the best. Okay, so we made it through practice. We actually did get one lap in. So we have one lap from yesterday and one lap today. So uh, not too bad. The, we did get the power steering back going, so that's working. Idler pulley, belt tensioner, and belt all back on the car. We stole it off the other cars you guys saw, 
and uh, now we're running the what is this the the bottom the bottom, bottom half bracket. bracket yeah so bottom half bracket this guy kills it you'll see him in pro 2 again next year or this year, this year. in like a couple months yeah. uh, super badass red and black actually it matches his his uh, little outfit red and black c6 corvette yes sir so super fast super gangster driver i remember driving with this guy uh, when was your first time like three years ago under that like two years ago yeah like yeah. two and a half three years ago at apple valley he loved the handbrake yeah. but now he spent some time in the passenger seat with me yelling at me and honestly that helped me make him happy so now no more handbrake and the guy's a straight slayer we'll see him probably later on in battle for sure but this is the first battle going on right here Next battle, which is right now, we are running Blaze Pots. So, uh, Blaze, I think is we battled a couple times. I think Blaze is definitely one up on me. Um, in the rain, he beat me in Colorado. Phenomenal driver, man. So, hey, it's an honor to drive with you. Uh, it'll be a good battle. So, I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> Guess what? We ended up winning our battle with Blaze. It was really, really close, but we ended up winning it. We ended up making it out here. So, top 16, we're up top. We're here like, woo! We made it up here. We're lined up with everyone else. So, we're in the top 16. It's super cool looking. We got all the all the drivers here, all the fans in the crowd. They're actually on the back looking at all the, the cars. So, there's actually a car show going on right now, too, which most people are watching that. But once the National Anthem starts and everything, then they'll come out here, watch us, and we'll be ready to, to rock and roll. So first battle is actually now we're battling with Schaefer. Funny part is he has my old motor and trans and everything in his car. So it's kind of like I'm battling my other car again. So it's going to be street car versus old pro car setup. So uh, it should be a lot of fun and Schaefer should be always a good battle. He's a showman. It'll be a good rowdy time either way. So quite excited about it and I think we'll be rock and rolling. Right? Right, love? Woo! All right. Uh, give me a second. Let's do this and then we'll jump back in the car. Look at this. So you know how you know you've made it in drifting? Look at that. Beat the whole thing pop by. So basically it's Jason's car, you guys saw Jason yesterday. Jason's car, he he's in top 16 now. He won his battle. He borrowed this and the owner of this car owns a Popeyes franchise. So like they legitimately Oh, oh never mind his other customer, not the owner of this car. Is this Jeff's car? Oh, Jeff's car! Okay, so not Jeff. Sorry, Jeff, I appreciate you. But someone else owns Popeyes, and he showed up yesterday with a truckload full of chicken. Yeah, she was mad that you didn't bring the chicken out. So she's like, where'd the chicken go? Where'd the chicken go? That's right. Look at that. We'll, we'll go get you some chicken later. There we go. We got this guy. Look at this. He's just looking, that here's looking good? What? I'm so cold. Yeah, it's all right. It's I'm all right. Just trying to stay warm. What's your uh, what's a TJ hunt uh, tip of the day? Is it for drifting or is it sure. for YouTube? Oh, both. They probably care about both of them. <laughs> well, what's your drifting tip of the day? Let's go. Let's go. Number step one. What's drifting tip of the day? Don't bring a car that will blow up. Hey, hey, hey! hey. I feel like it's very directed that, right at me. That's the tip of the day. I see. That's why you're in your street car. Ah! <laughs> yeah. uh, See, exactly. Where's the Jay Z car? I don't trust that car. 
<laughs> see, that, see, see, he was smart. I wasn't. I brought my car. I blew up. He's in this car. He's good to go. That's why I got Sally out there. All right, so YouTube tip of the day then. YouTube tip of the Directly day. Directly from this gentleman. It says there, right there on, on the hat if you don't know who it is. YouTube tip of the day. Make sure to make videos about shit you really like doing. Because if you try to make videos about what you think is going to do well in views, your like, unenthusiasm is going to show when you film like the third, fourth, and fifth time you do it. And people see it. So focus on what you really like to do and the videos are really well. Well, that's, I think it's also how you don't get trapped making videos you don't want to make. Because I see that often. Like, they make People videos. One thing that does well and they stick to it, then they, they just become like that type of thing, and then they're just like stuck. Ah, uh, alright. Well, we gotta go travel. We gotta do some more stuff together, too. He's he's local to me, but he's, he's too high up there. So, you know what? If you don't know who this is, Make sure that uh, you subscribe to TJ Hunt, um, the, the legend. It's kind of funny. I didn't share this story before. I didn't know this guy was big in YouTube. I thought we were just like the this homies like driving ago, at the track. Yeah, absolutely. It's like two years ABS. Yeah. And dude, we're just driving around, and we went to another event at uh, what was it? Um, Voodoo Ride. Yeah. The Voodoo oh, Ride event. Yeah. So we went to the Voodoo Ride event, and my buddy was like, "Oh my God, that's TJ Hunt." I'm like, "Yeah, it's TJ. What's up? Let's go talk to him." Like, oh my God, I can't. I'm freaking out. It's TJ. You got a good memory, dude. He was freaking out about you. Oh, sorry. They're singing that bad. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> All right, so it's good. Top 16, she straight up killed it. So. That, was, that was really good. Really good. So, all right, we're going to let this guy go slay. Hopefully, we'll see him in the finals. But, dude, good luck. Have fun. We're going to run back to the car. I'll see you soon. All right, we're going to go get in and get out of here and go back to our battle. There we go. Wow. His car was fast, but we're, we should be good now. So we're going one more time with him. So we're going to go back out there, run a couple more laps. Hopefully we can catch him and get a little bit tighter on the chase. battled Kyle Mohan, which is crazy. The little rotary thing is so fast. Uh, it didn't end up working out in our favor. It's okay. We ended up touching the wall a little bit, dragging it, which is scary because Sally is a full body metal car. Uh, so dragging the big bank in the lead with, uh, you know, with a full body car is pretty scary. Stock bumper, stock everything. So, uh, but we made it around the track. We did well. It was really close to kind of a one more time thing, but uh, they gave him the lead, which too. Hats off to Kyle, phenomenal driver. The fact he drives that little Miata so well is quite impressive. So, uh, yeah, dude, totally go for it. Take it all is super dope. Almost made it in the top four, so I lost, got knocked out in top eight, but not sad. I mean, legitimately, we had a car that uh, didn't run at the beginning, brought a backup car. My buddy Brian drove it, brought it back as you guys saw that, threw it in. I've had a total of zero practice laps, actually. So we had one qualifying lap yesterday, then the car broke in practice, so I didn't get a practice lap, and then we went right into qualify, or right into uh, top 32 battles, went through 32, 16, 8, and then ended up getting knocked out. So it's all good, but we're, uh, we're going to make it work. So here we go, we're watching the end of this, and then uh, we're going to load everything up, go back to the pits, and kind of hang out with everyone, and, and kind of relax. So give me a second, we're going to load up, and then head back off track.
a good night, sir. Woo All right, so that was the finals. It was, man, crazy finals, super good. Shout out to Margaritas and to uh, our new winner. So round one of Hop In, Rudy. So uh, Rudy basically just killed it out there. Super nice car, super fast, look good. I love it. So what we're doing now is Caleb has to street drive this car. Um, you gotta shut the undergo off though. There we go. So now I get pulled over because undergo is highly illegal in California. And then I'm gonna drive the truck and trailer home. And now I get to go home and pull the motor in the one series. So uh, maybe comment below. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I don't know if that's something that is enjoyable or if that's just something that's lame that you guys don't want to see. So if not, don't worry about it. If someone does want to see that, I'll do, I don't know, I'll film that. Maybe I can, I don't know. I film, I do a lot of uh, car stuff, but to me, I do it so often that it just is very normal. But if people enjoy seeing it, I have no problem filming it and sharing it with you guys. I'm just trying to share my life with as many people as possible because uh, I think it's kind of cool. We're having a lot of fun. And really so I can look back over it and see all the cool accomplishments and stuff that we've done over the years. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. This is where this video ends, but uh, we're having a good time. That was one more round of Hoppin' Auto Fest, and the next one will be at Orange Show Pavilion in a couple months. If you're local to California, come out and hang out, and uh, we're gonna be driving. So have fun, we're gonna get the one series back together. That's gonna be a ripper for sure. Chassis is great. Just gotta get a couple things out in the motor. We'll be ready to rock. So cool, enjoy, have fun.